Thought I might find you up here. Mind if I join you? Suppose not. You know, even after all of these years, I still never find myself getting tired of this view. He is a little different these days. Yeah. You know you can talk to me. I don't... Any... Any time you need to, right? I don't feel like anything needs to be said. It's been three months since. I just feel like it would benefit us both to talk about it. You deal with it the way you want to deal with it. And I'll deal with it the way I want. I miss him the same as you do. Every single day. I know. Then let's talk. There's nothing to talk about. He's dead. It's just us. I didn't mean to. To what? Make me upset? You want to know what makes me upset? Knowing every single day I won't get to walk in the kitchen and hear him say morning sunshine or, or even hear him bitch about how shitty his work day was at dinner. Okay. Or about, or about how baseball games never happen again and we never eat peanuts together and I never hear him yell at the pitcher. Okay. I don't want to hear it. You know, I still remember the day that we brought you home from the hospital with us. Nothing excited me more than knowing I was going to be a big sister. Nobody was happier than Dad, though. Part of me was kind of jealous. You were always Daddy's little girl. Sure I was. But that didn't change the fact that he now had a son that he could teach how to play catch, teach how to play, talk to girls and to watch sports with. I miss her so much. It hurts, Sarah. I know it does. And I can't promise that anything will ever take that pain away. But what I can promise is that I will always be here to help you go through whatever it is you're going through. Mm, I'll always be here for you too. God loved us both so much. He would have given up everything he owned to see us both happy. Just having him here was enough. I guess you never really know what's good until it's gone. Dad loved us both so much. Dad knows how much we loved him. Even after all the stupid fights that we've had over the years. I would give anything just to hear him yell at the TV again. <laughs> yeah. Me too. But tell you what. How about... You and I go back downstairs, put on some baseball, and order some pizza. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two about it. What do you say? Sure, as long as it's not Hawaiian pizza. You know, Dad would roll in his grave if he saw us eating pizza with pineapple on it. I wouldn't dare. <laughs>